Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island we find ourselves on. Last time we sailed back from a distant island carrying red container panels. We came here and we built ourselves an underfloor catwalk because, well, the whole building itself is supported on this one floor here. So, the house, the house which has a tower, the house which has a mezzanine, the house which has all of our cooking stuff just kind of is supported by this one floor and this one floor is supported at either end by a red container which we moved piece by piece here we have a little door that we can open up and we can peer out the back of it we could put a panel here but it's nice to have things open nice to have things breezy so if we close the door we have the underfloor catwalk and the underfloor catwalk serves well, it serves a couple of interesting, interesting little features. First of all, it connects to the lower floor visually, so it makes it look like the house itself is at least being supported by something else. It doesn't need to be here. There is no weight in the structure, but visually it makes more sense. It also means that we can go from inside the house to like from where we were to the outside in a number of different and interesting ways. Sploosh! Because there is no splash sound when you fall into the sea from above. So, what are we going to do today? Well, it's interesting, but somewhere up there is a gyrocopter, and the gyrocopter itself is just kind of perched on the roof. That's fine, we're going to need to add a landing pad. A landing pad which doesn't impede our view of the world. I was like, wait, is that a giant crab sort of scuttling backwards and forwards? No. The rafts themselves have sort of sloshy water noises that they play. So that's a fun little thing. And I'm thinking maybe what we do is we pick up from the end here and we build out and then we build ourselves a landing pad above the trees. Because Gyrocopter, where are you? You're on the roof somewhere. Uh, because it just makes it a little bit easier for us to park the thing. But if we build in that direction towards the ocean, it kind of spoils the view from the bedroom. You may have also noticed that that corner piece is taken out because at least on PC, um, there is a little bit of a bug where you try and break the corner pieces of roof and all it does, it gives you clay. So yeah, about the material that we're going to use. I'm going to pick some of this up. We cannot. Uh, how much can I put in my pants? That's a lot. Do we have any empty containers on the beach? Wait, that one has clay in it. Wow, okay, cool. I can see where this one's going. Uh, what we're gonna do... Hmm... I'm just gonna drop you there, go hands free, and pick you up. You can come with me. We're gonna need some wood, we're gonna need some clay, we need to check our food and water situation is actually okay. Oh, interesting. Hmm, I thought we had a storm between last time and this time, but those don't seem to have filled up. I wonder, because I was doing stuff between episodes, namely fixing these pieces here, because the upright was missing, um, I'm wondering if not looking up at the sky and not having the rain sprites means that uh, we missed out on some water. So I'll drop that there. Our pants are completely full of clay, which is, I mean, there's more there. I think what we need to do is get rid of it though. So I'm going to go and throw some of you in there. We're going to grab these pieces. So what we're going to do is take this T-section and build outwards. I'm not entirely sure if I want to build out from this T-section, uh, mostly because it's just too clean a break. But I do want these red containers looking like counterweights to the entire structure. We can fill that in just by repairing it with a hammer. But for the time being, I'm going to leave that broken because, well, I'll show you. I'll just show you. What we can do is we can look up, we can hit it, and it just generates clay forever. I don't know why there's a bug, but it's a bug on PC anyway, not on the consoles. If you try it on consoles, things are not going to uh, work in the way you think they're going to work. Anyway, so how far do we build? We don't actually need to build out too far, I don't believe. Uh, I'm going to grab one, two. Hmm. Now, do we put a metal piece? Oh. I mean, we have metal there. 
Maybe we put metal here. I wonder if there is enough metal on the raft to add another floor section. Let's just drop down into the store, let me see. Sploosh. Well, we got some metal there as well if we need it. I'm just trying to remember where it all is. All of the materials on this island. But how many materials do you have? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few bits. One, two, three, four. I think that's everything from there. I'll check the rest of the raft. Ah yes, a storm. Imagine that on the PC version of the game at this time of year, located entirely in your kitchen. Wait, what? Hmm. Anyway, we'll just hoof up here, turn around and hoof back again. When is the storm going to abate? Um, probably one o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, we do need the water. So yeah, I think since there's metal there, this piece, this section here should be metal. And we are doing things to make it look good. That's not what I need. I need a floor. Hmm. The game has not given me what I need. Four, four metal. Mate, you have a giraffe. Uh, which way round was this? It was horizontal. Alright, okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. I just want everything looking the same. So, corrugated floor... That is horizontal, and we'll just tap that in. Yeah, I do like the look of the metal when it comes to material. Now, what I do need to do is keep everything visually clean. So when we are standing on top of the aeroplane, uh, we can have a nice clean view of the house. But the thing is, you can't be too far away from certain sections because the LOD models, the level of detail kind of is not great. I just punched the microphone. So... I don't know, I was just waving my hands around, just just sort of gesticulating. Now, do we just put the... do we put it here? Do we just build out here? I think, possibly, we don't need it too far away. We're already quite far away from the house. Yeah, alright. So, what I'm going to need is... I think what I'm going to do... Let's get rid of that lot. Pick up some clay and then build around the outside like the buffalo girls. Now, how are we going to do this? That is an excellent question. I'm glad I asked that. Um, I don't think this matters too much in direction. Because I don't think we've got any other clay flooring in the property. So, I think I'm going to do clay on the outside and wood on the inside. Just partly to save wood and partly to uh, just add some visual interest. Uh, stand up. Now, are we going to interfere with the aeroplane? That is quite far away. I don't know if we're going to interfere with any of the tops of the trees. I did think about building a level down and out, but I think this way is going to be better. Uh, we don't have a choice over the brick patterns here and here. And I think then... Uh, I'll just try and make the bricks go around the outside in a circle, if I can. Yeah, okay. So what we might do is start putting wood in the middle as well. And essentially just build a big circle. As if we were building a lighthouse. Or, uh, well, a circle. No, I think we should be clear of the aeroplane. I don't want to get too close to it. And yeah, the gyrocopter is just up there on the top of the roof. Missed a couple of swings there, old chum. I know I did. So, little tippity taps, little tippity taps. Is this going to give us... Hmm, visual interest? I believe it will. It, yeah, I believe it will. So, the wood on the inside and the, the the bricks on the outside will give us a little... little um Should give us a little, like, bullseye to land upon. So... We do have some bricks left. What I want to do is get some wood in there as well. Probably... Yeah, probably try this now. So, a little tap. And then bring in the plank floor wedge. And then another plank floor wedge if we can. Yep. And again, we don't... Uh, plank floor wedge. Ah, three. Okay. So I'm going to go grab this. What I could do is build the circle on the outside and then try and put the wood in the middle. But the trouble is, sometimes the game gets a little bit funny over what it will and won't allow you to build. 
There we go. Okay. So we're going to build it in two halves. I think it's going to be... Yeah. Uh, this is literally a 50% mark in terms of material. So what is it? Three, six, nine, eighteen, eighteen. Uh, plank scrap. And then a... Oh. Broke a, broke a hammer. We do have some more hammers elsewhere on the island. So if we need to, we can go and grab those. You can tell. It just goes plump. And then your character gets very confused. And then we'll just immediately get the second hammer out of that pants. Oh, you're going to put an awning on here like there is on the aircraft carrier. Yeah, I'm totally not going to do that. I'm going to pick you three up. And now, oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to move you over here. So yeah, we have the different material. Yeah, I think it's going to look fine. It's gonna, I think it's going to look good. Um, bump, bump. Right, so hammer out. And then this one's going to be clay uh, clay triangle. This one's going to be clay triangle. This one's going to be a floor. Mm -hmm. And this one's going to be nothing because we don't have any bricks left in my pants. All right, that's better. So floor, make sure it's going around the outside. Hmm, good. And then we can put some planks in the middle. Er, oh, of course. Of course it would do that. What if it took? Um, yeah, I'll do that one. Oh, we've only got two. Oh, oh, all right. Okay, I love having a full inventory. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Quick Craft is just not playing all today. And that leaves us with one plank. So, two, three. Oh, that, that was literally exactly what we needed. Excellent. Okay, fine. Oh, and there it is. Plank floor wedge. Just exactly when uh, when we last needed it, I guess. So the airplane looks, oh, airplane looks pretty sweet. And it's neat that it is on basically the same level as the wing. Oh, what did you build over there? So you could just walk from the house to the wing. Because there's a tree already there. Why would we take the fun of walking up the tree to get to the airplane? Uh, airplane? Hmm, aeroplane. I have had a thing recently where I've been trying to say two words at once. The aeroplane and the floor come together to create aeroplane. That's not even a portmanteau. Portmanteau is when you take two words and you sort of smash them together. But this is, this is something else. This is, this is trying to record too many videos in the same time on a single day. And I'm just like, mm, my brain's probably melting. So what have you recorded today? Well. If you're watching these as they come out, I have recorded the Christmas Day special. And it is an interesting video, to say the least. Ooh, it's interesting. Very interesting. I had to do a few playtests to actually um, get the thing working. Because, ooh, the version of the game doesn't exist anymore. So, it was a curious, curious afternoon. And then I recorded some War Thunder as well, because apparently people have been watching that, and I'm just like, I don't know why, but let's do some more, I guess. Give the people what they want. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put the triangle piece here, and then triangle piece here. And now can we put this square? Yes. Okay, so it allowed us to build the whole thing. That's actually pretty good, because if it didn't... Oh, house. It's weird seeing the house from this angle. It's weird seeing the fact that we chonked out a section in order to get a load of clay bricks. But it is very strange seeing the house from this angle. It looks good. I'm going to be honest. It looks... It looks chonky. It looks well supported. Yeah. I... I like that. Yeah. The, there's something of the, uh, in, of the industrial about it. Sort of industrial meets um, home comfort. There we go. So we chunk these bits in, and then we can go and grab the gyrocopter. Is there any? What's the time of day? Um, it's not too too late in the day. Good, excellent. What we should really do is put some lanterns around. We haven't found that many lanterns. Oh, we haven't been doing any much exploring. That's the trouble. Ah, the trouble with tribbles. Yes. Oh, there's a second hammer. Okay, cool. So, that is the uh, the landing pad done. It's 
And that's pretty good, actually. I like it. Let's see what it looks like from the air. As we run, chasing the, well, kind of the last light of the day? 15, yeah, we've got about an hour of daylight left, and then boom. So, a uh, gyrocopter from the roof, which is kind of sketch, because immediately it wants to flip around and face north. Why? It just kind of does. That's the thing that it is known for. So, the white flashing is the is the pieces uh, sort of going into its low level of detail. Yeah, it's a nice wide landing pad. Excellent. Can we fly through the trees though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we can. Because the blades themselves are not not physical objects, and we know this because you can't chop your own head off. Oh, you can't, can you? No, you cannot. So that's fun. And go under the aeroplane. Oh, bonk. Where did it... Where did it end up? I was like... I see the blades. Uh, oh, in a tree. Okay, cool. It's nice that it ejected us. Um, I need a flat place to take off from. Okay, you'll do... Are you going to spin north? Oh, it didn't. All right, let's take off again. Enough trick flying for one day as we fly underneath the house. And then up and over. So the space bar goes up, control goes down. There's basically jump and crouch controls. And then we can just land gentle. Doop. There we go. Yeah, little landing pad. It's... Well, some would say it's overkill. It's a little bit big for the gyrocopter, but it does mean that if you come in at a weird angle, I mean, you could just build a little hexagon that's in the middle instead of having the big old chunky boy. But you know what? It's fine. I keep backing up towards the edge of this thing. There is a slight hill there, but we did break our leg already by falling off the house. So yeah, all right. I think what I'd like to do is see what the house looks like from the aeroplane. But we're going to need to do that in the morning because the sun is going down on what was a beautiful day. Yeah, 1714, 1715. We should probably get some food. See if we've got any food on the farms. Oop. Strain to the water. It's getting dark. I know. I know, right? But the farms should have... Oh, we haven't checked them in a while either. Farm should have a bunch of food on them. Jump over there. Jump over the wallies. Plural. Grab some fruit. And... Nom 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 nom. Um, I don't think we need any more fruit. But yeah. How beautiful. The sun isn't quite going down. So we should have a crop of potatoes. Excellent. A crop of potatoes and then we can get some aloe and the pee pee to get them out of the ground so these things can now grow more. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the fruit as and when. So as soon as we pick it the trouble is that it will start to go rotten which isn't necessarily something, that, not something that we want as the sun goes down on a beautiful day in paradise. Well except for the rain. Which you can't take into account for the rain. Excellent. And yeah, we have some lanterns here. So some of the lanterns that we found are in fact in the house. Or in the farmhouse at least. Um, torch can come out. Now, interesting. I'll put the potatoes in there. We might have to come back in the morning and get rid of those. Some hammers there. It's pee pee. Oh yeah, I was like, what did I do with the rest of the aloe? Hmm. You already turned it into aloe salve in order to protect yourself from the sun. I did, yes. And I don't think we have any palm tops here. So yeah, I'm going to leave turning that on until the morning. We can do that first thing, I think. Okay, let's run back and have a little sleep as we step past the pond. I was like, what is that red stuff? Oh, it's coral. Little little bit of red seaweed in there. 
Okay, yeah, we need to do something with this as well. We've managed to put up this, and we know that it works quite well. We should probably put it up somewhere on the house, maybe at the end? I don't know, a sort of a, a, a signal identifier. So we can identify a landing pad in the dark. Are we really going to be flying in the dark? I suppose, I don't know. It's a good enough answer as any. So as we head back, food and water situation is, food's okay, water's a little low, but that's not too, too bad. Step into the house. House is looking fine. I thought about putting something here, maybe a wall or something here to stop us just walking down. It's not, I mean, it's not a huge problem. The whole house is made of stairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little save and then we're going to do a little sleep. We wake up and it is a beautiful day. It is 6.08 in the morning. We are now kind of desperately short of water and a little bit hungry. So we can turn that out. I don't really need to be running around with clay in my pants. Uh, the next thing to build, I think, is going to be the... Hmm, we need to build a bar and grill. I think we can build... Ah, we can build another one of these on the other side a matching one yes we can and then we can put the bar and grill on there oh it's gonna be great yeah so i'm gonna get rid of the clay and i don't think we need the wooden sticks so what we can do is oh there's a stick pile down there i'll put it into a pile now we can't put the bricks into a pile because the bricks are just going to be as they are. We could put them in containers if we had a problem with the game running badly. So if you have a bunch of physics objects, put them in containers or put them in piles and you will reduce the amount of horsepower that the game requires to run. But since this computer is insanely overspecced for this game, we don't really need to do that. Ah, yeah, the water's not too deep out there. I haven't seen any... I don't know what I haven't seen. And that's any deep water sharks on this island. Hmm. On the old island, we could kind of coax... Sploosh. Kind of coax deep water sharks to spawn by going between the starting island and our home island. Uh, a oh, water. Water, water everywhere, except for in our tums. Three, four. Mm, five. And there we go. So that's pretty neat. Let's grab a couple of palm tops. Yep. Oh, that one's 64% health. Is that because we've already hit it with an axe at least once? That may be the case. That's a weird popping in of the shadows. There is apparently a mod which will increase the LOD on PC, which I was considering getting, but since we're playing vanilla, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, lighting the fire. Since I'm playing vanilla, it just makes very little sense to start modding the game. Because people are like, I'm playing vanilla. Everyone else is. Yep, well, it's... Yeah, it's the finest of the flavours. It is the seed pod from an orchid. Wait, what? Yeah, vanilla is... Uh, vanilla comes from orchids. Three, four, five, and six. Did we not... Yeah, so did we not put uh, these palm fronds down somewhere? Sensible. Another pile. Okay, so we've got potatoes in the top. We have a fire laid in the bottom. And then we light that, so... Oh, that's already... Ah, uh, wait. That already had fuel in it. But that's okay. That's not... That's not chonked any through yet. Good. So we'll take the fuel can that is full and we can take it back and use that on our raft, or we can use it on our gyrocopter, because the gyrocopter just drinks fuel like nobody's business. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't, but it does. Why? Dunno. Gameplay. Reasons. Just, just gameplay reasons. Just reasons. So, yeah, what does the house look like now? That is an excellent question, and I'm glad you asked it. The house looks like this. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm... I'm for it. 
So what I'm thinking of doing is putting another bit of container out the side in order to make it look like a counterweight and then maybe punching a, a hole in the side of this container so you can walk under under the floor. That might work or at least, at least it might be interesting. So we can do that. Oh, we can do that now. We can do that now. Ooh, we can do that now. Um, yeah, so the, the helipad looks fine. So let's add a small counterweight to that. Let's do that. Let's, let's mm, jump through the tree. Oh, the tree. Oh, I don't... It's late at night. Do I really want to be edit? Do I really want to be... Do I really want to be jumping off the tailplane? Uh, I'll do it for you. Well, yeah, make sure you at least thumb up the video. It's free. Unlike the... E editing? 76 days survived. Okay. To a jump. We've done it. A perfect crime. Has she killed him? Not yet, but she will. Get me out of this hanging harness. What's taking that girl so long? What time is it? At first, I couldn't get Nora to want to protect herself with a gun. But after you appeared at the window, everything began to work just as we had planned. You were wonderful. Just the touch that finally drove her into complete hysteria. Oh, it'll be worth all of our planning, darling. Where's Nora now? What's happening? On her way to the cellar. So scared she'll shoot the first thing that moves. At least the sun's illuminating the pool this time. Usually we're just jumping into darkness. Anyway, 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 anyway. Yeah, we can get a start on that, I think. Uh, how many hammers do we have? Uh, a reasonable amount. Okay. Dokey. Oh, but if we're going to do it properly, aren't we going to need metal? Yeah, look at that. So we could put a floor in here and knock that side panel out, at least for now. And then we're going to need two, section, uh, two sections of metal, maybe? Mm, if we want to do it properly. Ooh, it's, it's terrible having... Having a design pattern. I mean, I suppose we could take that out. That's going to take a. That's going to take a lot of hits. Or maybe I can scoot around between episodes and just find something. So, uh, yeah, the gyrocopter landing pad is fine, but it does. It, there's nothing here to balance it out. So what I'm going to do is give this a good old crack. Now we can put a door in here. In fact, there's another door on the. Uh, on the container ship, which we could bring back. So we could, in fact, have two doors. One here and one on the other side, and just have them open up. I don't know if that's going to work. Or whether we just put a door here, and then leave the other one open. That might make more sense. Donk. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Like the floor is lava. Goodbye. Right, okay, so we can at least put one section in because one section's definitely gonna be wood. You, no, you, you come with me. So we've knocked that out. Mm -hmm. We should have some more wood. Oh, probably down here somewhere. Where? Where? Uh, oh, over there. Oops. I didn't think that was as high as it was. I broke something? Broken bones? <gasps> Are we just... Oh my word. Have we literally just got out of our splint? We've been wearing a splint for ages and now I need to put on a new splint. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's because we jumped off the aeroplane last time. We fell off the house and then we jumped off the aeroplane and then we fell off the house again. I was not expecting that. Cool. Do we take damage every time we jump? Wait, do we? Yeah, we do. We take damage every time we jump. Um, Didn't know if that was going to kill us, going to be honest. So we are going to need to make a splint. Uh, okay, well, that might have to wait. 
a little bit while we do this. Gonna need a couple of sticks. Uh, okay, nope. I think it's a couple of sticks and lash lashing. Two lashings, two sticks. Excellent. Well, good. Um, hmm. There is a lashing here. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be too far from... I'm just going to hobble off into the woods. Hmm. Yeah, we got a broken leg. Don't, don't mind me. It's just hobbling off into the woods. Why didn't you pick that lashing up? I know that we are going to need that later on. So just going to crawl away. Oh, oh, my leg. Oh, it's all painful and everything and significantly damaged. Yeah, I had no idea that if you jump, you, you cause yourself more pain. I suppose it makes sense. One lashing. Okay. And then enough for half a lashing. Uh, hello. Would you like to become medical supplies? There you go. And then what we can do is uh, craft a splint. And then immediately use... So our leg is now back in a splint. Uh, we've got no health back. We are hungry, well, a little bit hungry, a uh, little bit thirsty, and the SPF is causing us damage. But we can now jump like normal. Wow, I mean, uh, all right, let's go get some food. Uh, we'll get some fruit. A high fruit diet, high fructose diet. Fructose is bad, no, fructose is just fruit sugars rather than sucrose, which is. So the water's up and the food's up, so now we should get our health back. Yeah, sucrose being things like cane and beet sugar. Ooh, good. Excellent. So, uh, we know what we need to do. Is it, is it raining? No, it's just gray. All right, we know what we need to do. The house has been modified it's now got a landing pad built into it i'm gonna leave it there for the time being so if you like these videos definitely leave a little like leave a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already if you haven't subscribed what are you doing you've got to this point in the video uh, if you want notifications dingle the bingle if you don't want notifications don't click the bell and i'll tell you what i'll catch you next time